Here's a question for you. How can we factor 108x squared minus 75x minus 50? How would you factor a trinomial with such large coefficients? Feel free to pause the video and try it if you want to. Now, we could try to do this the old-fashioned way. That is, we could take the leading coefficient and multiply by the constant term. And so if we multiply 108 by negative 50, this is going to give us negative 5,400. And then what we need to do is find two numbers that multiply to negative 5,400, but add to negative 75. Now, that's not going to be easy to do because negative 5,400 is a very big number. Now, you could make a list of numbers and just write down all the possibilities until you find two numbers that add up to negative 75. For instance, 3 divided by 50, I mean, 5,400 divided by 3 is 1,800. If we divide 5,400 by 4, it will give us negative 1,350. And we can keep doing this until we find two numbers that will add up to this, but that's going to take a long time. So is there an easier way in which we could factor this trinomial? It turns out that there is a way to reverse factor this problem. And it has to do with the quadratic formula. And that's x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let's make this equal to 0. a is 108, b is negative 75, c is negative 50. So we have negative, negative 75 plus or minus the square root of b squared or 75 squared minus 4 times a, a is 108, c is negative 50, all divided by 2a or 2 times 108. So now we just got to do the math at this point. 75 squared is 5,625. Negative 4 times 108 times negative 50, that's going to be positive 21,600. And 2 times 108 is 216. So now let's add 5625 plus 21,600. And so we're going to get this, the square root of 27,225. The square root of that number is 165. So we have x is equal to 75 plus or minus 165 divided by 216. So we can break it up into two parts. First, it's going to be 75 plus 165, and that's 240 divided by 216, and the other answer is going to be 75 minus 165, which is negative 90, divided by 216. So now what we want to do at this point is we want to try to reduce these two fractions. 240 is basically 24 times 10. 216 is 36 times 6. Now, 24, we can write that as 6 times 4. 36, we can make that 9 times 4. And 6, I'm going to break that into 3 and 2. 10, I'm going to break that into 5 and 2. So we can cancel a 4. Well, we can cancel 6 here. And so this becomes 10 over 9. Now, for the one on the right, we have negative 90, so that's negative 9 times 10, and 216 is 36 times 6. 
36, I'm going to make that 9 times 4. And 6, I'm going to break it into 3 and 2. 10, I'm going to make that 5 and 2. So a 9 can be canceled and a 2 can be canceled. So we get negative 5 over 4 times 3, which is 12. So let's write these answers here. So we have x is equal to 10 over 9, and x is equal to negative 5 over 12. The question is, what do we do at this point? What you want to do is move the 10 over 9 to the other side of the equation. It's positive on the right side, but it's going to be negative on the left side. So we get x minus 10 over 9 is equal to 0. The next thing you want to do is get rid of the fraction. So you want to multiply everything by 9. So you're going to have 9 times x minus 10 over 9 times 9 equals 0 times 9. Here the 9s will cancel, giving you 10, or rather negative 10, and 0 times 9 will remain 0. So this gives us our first factor. Now let's repeat the process for the other part. So let's move negative 5 over 12 to the left side. So we're going to get x plus 5 over 12 is equal to 0. And then multiply everything by 12. So we're going to have 12x plus 5 over 12 times 12 equals 0 times 12. So this will give us 12x plus 5 is equal to 0. So now we have our second factor. Now, let's put it together. So the answer is 9x minus 10 times 12x plus 5 is equal to 0. Well, let's take out the equal to 0 part because we've added it. So this is how you can factor this particular trinomial by using the quadratic formula. And we could check it to make sure it's correct. Let's go ahead and FOIL these two binomials. 9x times 12x. 9 times 12 is 108. So it gives us 108x squared. And then we have 9x times 5, which is 45x. And then negative 10 times 12, that's negative 120. And then negative 10 times 5 is negative 50. Now, combining the two middle terms, 45 minus 120. That's going to give us negative 75x. And so, as you can see, this is indeed the answer. So now you know how to factor a difficult trinomial. It's by using the quadratic formula, and then once you have the solutions for x, you want to convert it back into its factored form. By the way, earlier in the video, we were looking for the two numbers that multiply to negative 5400, but add to negative 75. And here are those two numbers. It's 45 and negative 120. If you multiply 45 by negative 120, you're going to get negative 5400. And if you add them, you're definitely going to get negative 75. So the quadratic formula helped us to find the two numbers that we were looking for in the first place. So now you know how to factor difficult trinomial problems. Now let's try another problem. This one is going to be different than the last one. Let's say we have 4r squared minus 16z squared plus 12rs plus 9s squared. How can we factor this expression? Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. Now we can't use the quadratic formula. It's not going to help us here. The best thing we can do is rearrange it for now. So let's write it this way. 4r squared plus 12rs plus 9s squared and then minus 16z squared. What you need to identify is that what we have here is a perfect square trinomial. You could take the square root of 4r squared 
and you could take the square root of 9 as squared. The square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3. If you multiply 2 and 3, you get half of 12, which tells you this will work as a perfect square trinomial. So the first thing you want to do is take the square root of 4r squared, which is 2r, and then take the square root of 9s squared, which is 3s. Everything is positive, so we're going to put a plus sign here. So 2r times 2r will give us 4r squared. You could check your work if you want to. 2r times 3s will give us 6rs. 3s times 2r gives us 6rs. And 3s times 3s gives us 9s squared. As you can see, these two expressions are mathematically equivalent. Now, because these two binomials are the same, we can say we have 2r plus 3s squared and then minus 16z squared. Now, what we have here is a difference of perfect squares. So we could use this formula to get the answer. a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So in this case, this would be a and this would be b. So a is going to be 2r plus 3s. b is the square root of 16z squared, which is 4z. And then it's going to be a plus b, so 2r plus 3s, and then plus 4z. So this here is the answer. That's how you can factor this particular expression.